Hey everybody, Raven here, and today's video, we're going to finish up the 960 ounce art bar search, and the reason we're doing that is we wanted to make a mega epic ender video, or ending video, as well as there's already four of the 12 rolls left that have ENG written on them for Inglehard. I wouldn't be surprised if we find another roll or two that isn't marked Inglehard, but I'm hoping we get a lot more art bars this go around. Let's crack open the first one and see what we have. We have that really cool Morgan Bar style. And there's been a lot of these in here. And it looks like, in all honesty, we have an entire batch of those bars. And what we'll do is when they're, when they're repetitive like that, we'll show the first couple. And we'll put back in the other bars and move right along. Because, you know, it's nice to see them, but it's not... One of those things where you want to keep seeing the same bar over and over and over again. Speaking of Inglehard, this one's starting off the same way. And it looks like, yep, this is an entire stack of Inglehards, even though this one wasn't marked Inglehard. These are those cool old school ones where it's written side to side and has a blank back like that uh, with the texture on it. And that was a security feature they were using back in the day. To make sure that people did not copy or counterfeit their Inglehard bars, you know. Um, there are counterfeits and copies out there. You just kind of have to keep your eyes open and pay attention to what it is you're purchasing it from time to time. Uh, do research and look online to make sure, you know, you're not getting ripped off. There's a number of, uh, there's like groups on different platforms that actually talk about the different styles that exist and everything and um you know you can go on facebook there's also a group on youtube that does uh vintage bars and whatnot so there's always a resource out there and one of the things i wanted to say was a big shout out to my friend that let me borrow all of these bars because almost a thousand a thousand ounces in silver is insane this is this is another thing of Inglehards. This one has a little bit of milkiness on the top, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be another full thing of Inglehards. Yes, and this is the Inglehard that I haven't seen very many of them. Mirrored with a really polished back on the reverse, but these are very, very cool. I really like these bars quite a bit. Um, there's one that's really nicely toned. You guys know how I am. I love the toned stuff out there. But I figured, you know, for going through all these bars and everything, I'm very fortunate, very lucky. And it's one of those things that I talk about all the time is developing relationships. You know, um, honestly, if you don't develop relationships, it's kind of hard in most hobbies to find the stuff that you really want. You know, um, if you don't have anybody to help support stuff that you're finding or possibly... Uh, you know, they have something you're looking for. It makes it a little more difficult to collect the really cool stuff that's that exists out there, you know All right, next one is up. Oh, looks like we're gonna run into a majority of Inglehards Again, we got another roll and these are the same ones and I was talking to my friend and he had actually gotten these bars by collecting them for many years as they came into his shop, um, you know, so it takes quite a quite a bit of time and patience to amass a collection like this. Wow, we're just hitting Inglehard heaven here. Um, everything seems to be Inglehard, but the reason I'm pulling them out is making sure because sometimes you find a hidden treasure in these these uh, rolls with the bars. Uh, you can see how Inglehard progressed and had the reverse stamped. To have Ian, the Inglehard logo across the back to help with, you know, uh, it's a security measure to help prevent uh, fraud, you know, or copying of their their uh, their bars. Let's check this one. I'm going to skip a little because this one looks like, ah, we got something different. We have the 13th Amendment silver bar. This has some gorgeous toning on it. And uh, very, very cool. Look at the reverse on this, guys. Wow, that is a beautifully toned bar. I really like that one. That toning is unbelievable. 
And uh, finally, we get to look at some, some variety here. First one is a Andrew Jackson bar. Then we have one of the really cool Indian head bars, and it's toned really nicely. We have a Southeast Refinery, Refining of Panama City, Florida. Very, very cool. I like the way that's toned. Almost like a wood grain effect to it going on. We have a one ounce fine silver with a beautiful eagle on it. And that was 200 years of independence, it says on the other side. So that's a very cool bar that I haven't seen many of those. I say that and then the next one's the same bar. And these are serialized, which is really cool. That's number 4020. The other one is 31198. All right, then we have a Happy Father's Day from 1976, ladies and gentlemen. So this is 46 years old. And that's, of course, from the Madison Mint. The Madison Mint made a lot of really cool stuff. A lot of commemoratives. This is a, another Thanksgiving bar from 1972. And then we have a Cadillac from 1903, ladies and gentlemen. The Cadillac of Silver Bars. <laughs> oh, man, I got some good ones, right? Hey, we got a uh, Geiger in here. At a metale. If you don't know about Geiger bars, this is out of Germany. Uh, Geiger is a really cool bar to collect, and it keeps a really nice uh, premium to it. That's just another one of those Morgan style dollars or bars. This one's really cool. The General 1830, no 1855, commemorating commemorating a famous locomotive. And look at the reverse toning on that one. That is awesome. I think we have now the Tom Thumb, and this is from 1830, a little steam engine from back in the day. The reverses on these are just unbelievably gorgeous. We have the Experiment of 1832, another steam locomotive bar with the really, really intensely toned reverse. That is very, very cool. I really like this this roll here. I I know somebody said don't call them rolls, but hey, what tubes? They're tubes, they're not rolls. And this is the Black Hawk. Now that is very cool. I love the toning on that one. Anybody that loves trains would have really, really appreciated this set because the next one we have is the Stour or Stour Bridge. Yeah, Stour Bridge Lion. Very, very cool train. Reverse is really nice as well. We have the best friend of Charleston, another steam engine locomotive from back in the day of 1831. It goes to show you they're really experimental in the way they did trains, you know, in the 1800s. They were trying out everything to get cargo across the United States and move people as well. Uh, this next one is beautiful, the Thomas Rogers. That is more indicative of what you'd see as a modern kind of st steam train uh, very very cool the classic type of the lo locomotive used all over north america this example was built about 1855 this one has some beautiful beautiful toning on it i really think it's cool then we have the south carolina look at that they had steam po steam poles on both sides the reverse tonings on these are amazing. I'm sure these came out of some kind of a book because the way they're all toned that way. And then we had the Camel of 1848. So that was a really cool bar. Give me a second to put these back in and then we'll be to our next tube of ingots. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned. Now for a second, I just wanted to show you guys this bar again. The one that had the 13th Amendment and how... That is just, that is some gorgeous, gorgeous toning on there. You got the reds, the blues, and purples going on. A little bit of orange in there as well, and some greens. I mean, that, that thing has a little bit of everything for everybody, and I uh, think that's pretty darn cool. So we got four more tubes here that are all Englehard, and so I'm going to, or at least they're marked Englehards. I am going to go to the next tube, and of course...
It says on it, Inglehard. <laughs> I'll look through here real quick, and it looks like they're all the same designs. There's a nicely toned one, but I'm not going to kill you make everybody look at every last bar i know that look looking at this is enjoying the bars but honestly after about three or four of the exact same bar over and over again you want to see something else again like those beautiful locomotive bars that came out of that that last one <clears throat> those are just pretty darn cool and intense all right got the fingers crossed hopefully this one is something different <laughs> it's ingle hard that same design, um, and I don't blame my friend at all for collecting the Inglehards. They're something that's going to go up in value no matter what. And here's the thing: I did an estimate, you know, a conservative estimate of what I thought the value of this box would be, and I said about thirty-five thousand or so. But you have a lot of bars in here that are actually quite rare and worth quite a bit more than the than the estimate that I made you're probably looking more closely at about 50,000 to be exact you know um, I could be off by a grand or two but that is more of an accurate uh, uh, estimate than what I had originally priced this at and um, you know it really means a lot that, that I have a friend that trusts me that way see now these all say Inglehard and we're gonna keep keep it going here I'm sure you know, we'll see if we see anything different, but I highly doubt it because these are literally marked Inglehart on top, and he was pretty consistent with how he labeled these when he did label a, a roll. I think the labeling came kind of towards the end of making this box, but yet we have another Inglehart. I'll do a quick check, and yep, that is more of the ENGs, which, hey... Quite frankly, to see this much Inglehard silver all together in the one ounce bars is pretty epic. But uh, let's see. Let's open this next one and see which design it is. It's the one with the E and the globe. I'll take it out here. We'll look together. Again, Inglehard, one of the most sought after, especially by coin dealers. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that collect art bars and different bars, but I've noticed there's a lot of dealers. You'll go in there and you'll ask them if they have Inglehards and they say, yeah, but they're not for sale. And that's simply because, you know, there's a lot of dealers that collect and over time, because of the amount of people that are getting into to collecting silver and stacking silver, knowing that Inglehard carries the name and the value that it does, that eventually you'll not really see them anymore. Um, and that keeps the value going up. We'll open the last set that says ENG. Then we have the reverse. These are the globe ones. And it looks like the entire stack is Inglehards because you can see it across the backs. Oh, there's one square one in there. So you do get a variety from time to time. But hey, like always, you know, remember, guys, like I've said time and time again, make sure you develop those relationships. Get to know fellow stackers and collectors. And even if you're somebody that's more of what they call an introvert that doesn't really <coughs> like to get out that as much or interact with, with crowds and stuff, it still is something that will help you out big time in your success being a coin collector silver or gold stacker or even any venture that you do in life and you find like-minded people that support what you're doing because they do the same thing you're going to find success if you like this video or videos like it please make sure to leave a thumbs up and share it if you haven't subscribed yet i'd appreciate it um, if you want to correspond it's ravenhawkcoins at gmail.com our P.O. Box is 721-296, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. Like always, please make sure to take care of one another, and we'll see you real soon. Raven Hot Coins, have a great day.